Hey guys, I'm back for our second video. Alright, so in case you can hear the music playing, it's Chris Crocker's Second to None. And he, I love his music, so I suggest you guys, you guys go um, check him out. So, Chris Crocker. Second of all, my friend, Love Forever Out, that's your YouTube uh, handle, she asked me to do a date video. So I was like, well, why can't I? And my blah, my thing is basically uh, vlogs and monologues and things like this. This is what I suggest to avoid for a first date. Movies. Avoid them until maybe you're dating for about a month or so. Because it's just so intimate. And it's whole like waffle. Like, you know, you know the waffle hold. It, 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 it's just not right. It just makes me uncomfortable. And, um, low lighting diners. Don't go there either. And not diners, romantic places. Okay, but these are some places, like, this is my first, this is the first day I love to do. I feel like this should be, like, party. Woo! Okay. <laughs> um, laser tag. Go to the pizzeria and go to, go play laser tag. I mean, the place is, like, the funplex. I don't know if they're in other places, but there's a complex by where I live. Um, especially if he's a Call of Duty guy. I mean, it's kind of like the same thing almost. Well, not like the same thing, but like the whole target and shooting. Go play laser tag. Um, what else do I like? Bowling. I don't usually go bowling. Well, I do, but I have my own shoes and ball. 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 Wow. <laughs> Um, and the reason I suggest bowling is because you can eat there, and if you want the guy to touch you, he can in a way where it's not like, uh, you know, like, you know, the whole girl, <laughs> he touched me, oh my god, I'm gonna die, like, you know, you know, those typical girls. Um, what do you, it, it all depends on if, what you like. Um, ice skating. South Mountain Arena, West Orange, New Jersey, near where I live, offers ice skating. The Devils actually used to play there, so if you're a Devils fan, ooh! Oh, wait, no, that's Toros. <laughs> um, also, rollerblading. Go to a roller rink. It's so much fun because they will play the, you can, play cheesy music and roller skate together and it's fun you can talk you don't have to be all oh I love you oh no I love you no I love you like, you know it's not one of those cheesy awkward things are you athletic uh love forever oh this is perfect for her go play tennis she loves tennis grab two rackets grab some balls <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so a little bit immature. Grab some balls, go to a local park. Most nine times out of ten, they will have tennis courts set up. One on one soccer. Um, here's perfect. It's like let's say you meet the guy while you're on vacation in like a short area where there's arcades. Oh, hold on, I have to replay the song. I love the I love this song. Second, to that. it's just such a good song. Um. I have to find my list. Oh, here we go. Um, like I was saying, if you're down the shore area, go to... Go to an arcade. Here, you can do this. It's easy. 20 bucks. Get some quarters. Have a skee-ball tournament. Record it at the end. Like, okay, let's say you put a uh, skee-ball a quarter a game, so you can get 20 games out of it. The two of you each have your own lane, and that's how you play. Keep tally of the score, so like let's say I get a hundred and get nine thousand points on one and he gets seven thousand. If then that's just saying you get a hundred each time. Not everybody's that good, but I'm pretty good. <laughs> um so let's say at the end you have after ten games, you have let's say you have eighty thousand points and he has seventy five thousand points. Before or because the guys have a bigger ego. You have 75,000 points, he has 80,000 points. Loser buys ice cream. Just tie him up at the end of the 10 games market each month. Just take a piece of notebook paper, draw a line in the middle, put your name, his name, like this. This guy I'm going to be going out with, his name's Kurt. 
I know, it's not the best name, but he's really sweet. So, if we were playing, it'd be Risa and Kurt. I get 9,000 one game, and he gets 700. Not that that would ever happen, but he's really good. Well, we keep tally for the 10 games. And then loser buys ice cream, so I would go buy ice cream, because I'd probably lose him, because he's really good. Alright, so let's see. Um, I mentioned laser tag. Go on a picnic. Go on a picnic at a public park and watch clouds. People watch make. This is something I love to do with guys, especially if they're creative guys. So when you're there having your picnic and you see different people, make up stories for them. So, like, if you're sitting there and let's say it's your area on a day and you just see me sitting there all alone looking suspicious, do one of these. Have you seen this person type thing? Okay, back to the. Ah! Um. Do you want to, like, just make it fun. Don't make it so where you're too relaxed, but don't make it where you're so, like, oh, awkward, you know? Amusement parks. Take a day trip up to Six Flags. You know, Six Flags is perfect. Well, not if you want to don't spend a lot of money, but Coke cans or buy one, get one free tickets for Six Flags. And then if you go, like, let's say you guys meet up at 7 o'clock. You drive up to Six Flags. This, now this would be where you'd have to go with either a bunch of people or in the same car. So you want to make sure you're comfortable with this person. So you go out at 7 o'clock, drive up to Six Flags or whatever amusement park is by you. There's a Six Flags like an hour and a half away from where I live. I think it's, a, I don't know, it's north. It's, maybe it's two hours. I don't know. Or is it south? Northwest? I don't know where it is exactly. I just know, like, it's far. Well, not too far. But, um, yeah, stay at Six Flags, stay, watch the fireworks, go home. You've just had a whole day ahead of you. Make sure you eat or drink a lot of caffeine, I should say, because one of you is going to be tired and someone's going to have to drive home. Mm. Sorry, my throat's getting dry. Um, what else is there? If you're a kid at heart like I am, and Kurt, like, Kurt's so funny, it was because when he, um, he I am me and my friend gave him my I am and he I am me is like hello governor I don't know why I just said that in a English esque accent but I did so I s replied with the narwhal song and for those of you who don't know what the narwhal song is narwhals so hold on this song is addicting this is the narwhal song Oh no, that's not the normal song. That is a preview. Of one of those. Okay, this is the normal song. So that's the normal song. And that's what I sent him a link to. I sent him a link to that and that was the first thing. That's how we actually, that's how we started our conversations. It was like the normal song. And then, and then he's like, uh, cheers. And I was like, Adventures of the Shish Kebab. Cheesy pickup lights, it's sorry, my friend just inboxed me, he's not even my friend. And he's like, part of me was I saved, I lost my phone number, could I borrow yours? Talk about cheesy. Um. Oh yeah, but like I was saying, Kurt and I, perfect day for a sesame place. And I don't care what you guys say, it's fun. Especially if you have cookie monster pants, like I do. And a Yoshi shirt. I'm still in my pajamas. I actually never got dressed today. Um, I'm being a bum. It's Bum Friday. Uh, God, what else is there to do? What did I talk about so far? Well, just do something that's fun and relaxing and doesn't, doesn't put too much pressure on either party. So why don't you guys tell me your... Oh, you know what? Here's the perfect thing. I can tell you my most embarrassing date. It was supposed to be four friends of mine. Ace, the two A's who were dating. 
A's friend, S, and myself, we're gonna go get sushi and then just spend time in that area. And then, so he picks me up and I'm like really nervous because I actually hadn't met him. I had spoken to him a bunch on Facebook and stuff, but I didn't actually know him, know him. So it was kind of awkward. So then his mom, we had to go pick up his mom. And his mom drove us to the place. My friends had canceled. So it was just the two of us, and it was really awkward. And then we're sitting there playing Truth or Dare. And he's like, tell me the truth. What, if you could do anything to me right now, what would it be? And I was really embarrassed because like, I really wanted to kiss him. So I was like, I pass. What's my what's my like punishment? Because the way we play ch truth or dare is, if you don't do it, you have a punishment. And eventually, what happened was, we you know those two slides? It's like they're like this at the top, and then it's like really slide. Love forever. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's the slide at that park across the street from the hospital. We have been kissing. Then we got stuck in the slide and this little kid came up wanting to go on the slide. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Like, tell me about your worst date ever. So, comment below and leave a video response. And if you have any other great date, first date type, or any date type thing, leave a video response telling me. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Wait, okay. <laughs>